in this tutorial we will learn remaining commands click on new drawing ok at first we will learn how to create the sheet format for that select the sheet size for which you want to create the format remove this tick display sheet format and click on ok it will start empty sheet then close model view then to create sheet format right click and click on edit sheet format at first we will have to create the border of the sheet for that select the rectangle command give the first point give the second point escape then select the bottom line and give the length of 420 as we are creating a3 size sheet size is 420 by 297 then drag it down and give the start point to 0 x0 and y0 ok select this vertical line then give the height of 297 then ok now border is ready then we will have to offset it inside click on offset entities select the line then reverse the direction from here select other entities that you want to offset this one and this one and I want the gap up for you enter and click on ok then again offset this entity gap of 20 enter ok then trim the unwanted entities trim entities then click on corner and select the lines so it will create corners ok then create the title block again offset select the line then reverse it remove the tick of add dimension or select chain if it is there so that it will offset individual entity and it will not add the dimension then give the length 185 or whatever length you want for title block that you can give here ok again offset this entity then give the length 65 reverse it ok then trim the entities again trim corner is there select these two lines in this way you can offset these entities and create the internal title block if you want to add company logo take your cursor to this array then insert then picture then browse the picture open here is the picture remove this trim entity select the picture double click it and drag it and then drag and place it wherever you want it then to add the name of your company click on this annotation uh, click on this ok click on annotation click on note then give the location where you want to write down the name of the company then select the text and apply the desired font then apply the size make it bold if required underline whatever formatting you want to do you can do there press escape then you can add all the other details whatever you required in title blocks once all the details are added then click on file and click on this save sheet format then give the design name for the sheet format suppose my sheet when save yes then click here and close here and I don't want to save the document click on don't save now to use the sheet we just created click on new click on drawing ok then click on this browse and select the sheet we have just created open click on open and click on this display sheet format ok so here our drawing is started in our drawing sheet then browse the part open and create multiple views ok then next we are going to see how to add surface finish symbol click on surface finish then from here select desired symbol what are your desired symbol then put the values here the different values required for finishing symbol if you click here it will be created here if you want to make it vertical 
from here you can rotate the symbol if you want leader you can select it from here I want it horizontal click here then select the location suppose I want to add some symbol here in opposite direction make it vertical and and if you want to add opposite to that okay it will automatically add it in opposite direction in this way you can add surface finish symbols the next is welding symbol click on welding symbol then select the type of weld you want to apply okay you can put all the desired parameters and select where you want to add the symbol give the location for the leader and location for the symbol and click on ok click the whole color click on the hole and take your cursor outside and click there it will automatically take the parameters from your created hole so it is showing that it is a die 20 of through hole click on ok then next is to add datum feature click on datum feature then give label for the datum feature and give the location and give the direction where you want it if you want horizontal line at the end from here you can select the desired symbols and click on ok with reference to this datum feature you can add the geometric tolerance click on geometric tolerance then choose the desired symbol I want to give perpendicular relation click on this perpendicular then give the tolerance for perpendicular then give the datum reference A then give the position where you want to place it here you can either give it inclined make it straight or take it on other side also and click there you can create multiple row symbol also select the multiple parameters give the tolerances then give them multiple datums give the material condition then give the position where you want to place it and give the location for the symbol ok then from here you can add datum target click on datum target and give that size of the symbol suppose it is 4 I want it circular then here give the datum reference give the location same way again I want one more of A2 here and you can use different target area also rectangular circular or X symbol also you can use X symbol you can use this inclined arrow bent arrow so it will show in bent arrow ok then if you want to add manual hatching then click on this area hatch fill click inside the area where you want to show the hatching from here you can choose the pattern and from here you can change the scale if you increase the scale the gap will reduce and if you reduce the scale the gap will increase in this way you can give the scale you can give the angle also if you want the pattern in some angle if you want to fill with black color click on this solid ok it will fill it with black color click on it to change it again and if you don't want you can click on none it will be cancelled then next is suppose here I want to add the center mark click on the center mark then select the circle it will add the center mark automatically and if you want to add the center mark for all the holes select this for all holes and select the view so it will add to all the holes again center mark then I choose this circle then from here if you have the array of the circle you can from here you can propagate click on it it will apply to all the circles from here you can control whether you want to show the circular center lines or not from here you can show the radial lines radial internal lines from here then base center mark is there the original center mark for the internal hole and if you select the slot for slot also you can control it suppose we will select the slot center mark we will select this slot 
and for this slot if you want symbol like this the lines side lines and the center line click on it click on ok same way you can add center line between two lines center line I want to add bit between this line and this line it will add the center line between two lines and if you want to add balloon click on this balloon select the location then from here you can configure the balloon what shape is required for balloon that you can choose from here different shapes are available then from here you can control the size of the balloon it should be suitable for how many characters that you can define then from here you can define what you want to show inside the balloon you can show the custom properties item number or customized text you can put here the text whatever you want that will appear in the balloon click on the location and ok in this way you can add customized balloon to add the tables click on the table general table then give the number of columns how many you want number of rows then the thickness of the border and the internal lines that you can choose from here and click on ok and click the location then by clicking inside and typing you can write the details by tab you can go ahead using tab you can go in the next cell or by clicking also you can type it by using arrow key you can go from one cell to other cell if you want to change the size of the column take your cursor to this vertical line and drag it press the first button of the mouse and drag it in this way you can change the size of the column and if you want to add some column click your cursor on this B character or any desired character click there right click from here you can insert the column on left side or right side then you can insert the rows take your cursor to row right click and click on this insert rows above or below then if you want to merge some cells select the cells by dragging the first mouse button then right click and click on merge cell it will merge it if you want to cancel the merging select the merge cell right click and click on this unmerge cell if you want to remove some column select the column from here right click and delete delete column same way you can delete the rows also select the row right click and delete delete row in this way you can use the table and if you want to create a table for the holes in the drawing click on this tables hole table then select the holes that you want to show data for then from here show the data right now remove this delete select here origin and define your 00, 0 by reference of which point you want to show all the coordinates of the selected circles and select the numericals whether you want alphabets or numbers then click on ok and give the position so it will add the numbers to the circle and same number will be added here it will give x location y location and the size of the circle that's all for today. We will stop here. Thanks for watching.